apps. Apps? Yeah, we got apps. We got free apps. Welcome to the Daily Appster. The short time we spend together today is devoted to iOS applications, either for the iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Not just any applications, but free ones. I'm James, and I sort through all the terrible application muck to find the gems you've been searching for. This is the Daily Appster for June 9th, 2011. So I have a whole bunch of apps today. There's a lot of really good ones out there. First up is called Rooftop Escape. Rooftop Escape. It's a very simple game. It's very stylish. I guess the cops are after you, so you're trying to escape, and you do that by jumping off the top of this building. You're kind of falling down. Uh, you're trying to avoid balconies. If you hit those, you go splat. You can slow yourself down by landing on awnings. But like I said, it's super pretty. It's black and white. Lots of fun. Action-packed. Check out Rooftop Escape. Next up is a photo application. It's called Dermander. I think that's how you pronounce it. Dermander. This allows you to capture panoramic images. Tap the button, you'll hold it in one place, and then the little icons will move across the screen as you turn. When you're done, it'll show you the full image. You can save it to your photo library. You can upload it to their site. The cool thing is you can browse through a whole bunch of other panoramics that other people have taken. Uh, lots of really cool stuff there. Dermander. Check it out. Next up is a very simple application called Push Reminder. When you launch the application, there's just a big window there that'll let you type whatever you want. You can pick a day and a time. Just hit Remind Me, and it'll send you a push notification, so no matter what you're doing, even if you're like playing a game, it'll send you a push notification reminding you whatever you want. Works great. It's free right now. Grab Push Reminder. Next up is Enotia 2 Eternity. Enotia 2 Eternity. And this is an action RPG game. They just recently came out with Enotia 3, and I guess they made this free. I can't really figure it out. I, I kind of assumed it was a light version, but it doesn't seem to be. Um, there are ads in it, so maybe that's their deal. They're going to make money off that, and the ads are kind of annoying. But, you know, you choose a character, and you're, you've got this big world you can run around in. Fight monsters, do quests, get more loot. Pretty cool. Enotia 2 Eternity. Next up's Magic Zither. Magic Zither. And the zither is, I think, a traditional Chinese instrument. You're able to see the piano at the top, and then you've got the zither that you can mess around with and kind of compare. You can play different songs. There's a few songs to choose from. You can kind of just mess around with this thing. If you want a cool music application, check out Magic Zither. Next two apps are freeappaday.com apps. The first one is A Girl in the City, Extended Edition, A Girl in the City. And this is a find-the-object game, hidden hidden object game. You're given several different scenarios, and you're trying to find all the all the objects in it. The interface is a little bit clunky, but if you like find-the-object games, then you'll be fine. It's, it's cool. Check that out, A Girl in the City. And the other application is Chop Chop Hockey. Chop Chop Hockey, it's a universal application. We've had several Chop Chop games on the show before. You're playing hockey. You've got three guys on your team. You're able to pass the puck back and forth. You can check the other guys, knock them down, and you can shoot and try and score goals. You can play just a single game or you can play a tournament. Very cool. If you're into hockey or the, just the Chop Chop games in general, check out Chop Chop Hockey. Next up is another universal application. It's called Star Connect. Star Connect. It's kind of a puzzle game where you're connecting stars to each other. That's pretty much the game. You're trying to connect these stars and avoid other obstacles. It gets a little more complicated as you go through. Uh, very cool. If you like puzzle games, check out Star Connect. Next up is Movie Story. Movie Story. This is a lot like an app that was very popular called Game Dev Story, uh, where you run a a game development company, and this you're running a movie studio. Very anime-style art, and again, the interface in this, it could use some work. It's a little clunky, but it's a lot of fun. You're able to hire new employees, and then you can start development of a movie. You can name the movie, you can, you know, choose your genre, and who the director's going to be, and who's going to star in it, and trying to pump points in all the different sections of the movie, and uh, get a big blockbuster, and you're just running a movie company. If that sounds fun, check out Movie Story. And the last app I want to talk about today is called Crystal Alliance. Crystal Alliance. And this is kind of a cross between a tower defense sort of game and um, like an RPG. It's also got a little Plants vs. Zombies, you know, because it's the side-scrolling tower defense. You have several different characters, and you're moving them around from column to column, trying to take out these enemies. Different enemies have different strengths and weaknesses. You're able to upgrade these guys, buy stuff from the store. 
Very cool game. Very difficult game. That sounds fun. Check out Crystal Alliance. And that's all the apps I have for you today. You can follow the show and find links to all the apps I've talked about at thebigskillet.com. If you'd like to email me for any reason, you can do that at thedailyappster at gmail.com. And I'm on Twitter at twitter.com slash thedailyappster. Thanks to iCactus for the opening and closing music. Until next time, enjoy your free apps. (laughs) 